that's the camping spot and that's Murdochville town there it's very little as you can see surrounded by mountains I really didn't think when was that bad to sleep <gasps> It's only midnight So yeah, I'm gonna try to have more sleep morning guys I just made breakfast oatmeal as the usual this morning is still very very windy the night was horrible it was very cold colder than I anticipated this morning is minus 19 and I'm sure that with the humid eggs and the wind it's like minus 24 minus 25 something I think today I'm gonna hit the 1000 kilometers I woke up this morning every window was covered in ice my water is frozen my batteries were all dead snow was all over the passenger seat because I left a window open last night I left a little bit this window open and I woke up in the night the mattress was in water it, it was a rough night it was a rough night <laughs> I think the safest plan today before going skiing I'm gonna go in town and ask for avalanche report or the conditions because I don't have cell phone signal here Murdochville is a very little town as I can see it's surrounded by mountains I'm parked just on top of the town in a big parking before I go into town I have boring things to do the dishes so let's clean them so I'm gonna clean the dishes with hot water as much as I can because my hands are gonna be freezing cold so yeah I think that's why I always camp for two or three days because these things I didn't have to do them in summer it would be so much easier I could do this outside no problem I guess it's working. Everything's clean. Guys, it's sunny today. Woo! It's so windy. <laughs> oh my God. But it's gorgeous. Oh, it's cold. Oh, it's cold. Look at that! That's the camping spot! And that's Murdochville town there. It's very little as you can see, surrounded by mountains. Look at the truck! So, I'm gonna head into town. Buy some little things. Because I need food. I need to dump my garbage. and get some info on the weather if it's gonna turn or not because in the mountain it can change in seconds so yeah
looks like it's this mountain, the Mont Porphyre, that I'm gonna go. I went in the little, little, it's very little town. I went to ask questions because my GPS didn't work. It wanted me to go around there and it's not the right way. So I went in a ski shop and I took a photo of the map where I'm gonna go and where I can park where I can start the trail ascension. It's really harder without internet. It's, I can see it and it's crazy, it's insane. Guys, I'm ready, I'm all geared up. It was a mess gearing up in this wind. It's crazy today, but I'm ready to attack this mountain, yay! Everything is frozen! So guys that's gonna be my first run of the day where the people are and I'm gonna descend this it's deep so people that don't climb like me can go in this little thing and they can ski down the mountain oh it's so nice so guys, that's where I'm gonna go down. I'm not gonna lie, it's steep as I'm so scared. <gasps> I think I'm ready. Yeah. Woo. Okay. Easy peasy. Just checking. Just checking. Easy peasy. Woo! Wow, it's it's insane. I never done something steep like this. Woo! Woo! Oh wow. Wow, it wasn't the best run, but that's the steepest hill I never skied on. It was insane. I was scared, but I did it. I didn't get killed. I didn't injure myself. So I'm gonna eat lunch, go back to climb the mountain and do a second run. Maybe it's gonna be better, but yeah. Woo! So guys, last time I went that way. This time I'm gonna go this way to find some new skiing spot. Once again, I made it to the top! Woo! Let's go!
<laughs> oh my god! It's very tough, the snow, because of the wind. It's not some powder. No! <laughs> I cut there. At least it wasn't a tree. Oh, some nice snow here. Oh, yeah. Woo! What the hell of it? That was a tree. Guys, I just followed the road up to where I was parked and look at that I talked to a snowblower and he said that if I continue on this road I'm gonna be able to see the most highest mount of Quebec it's Mount Jacques Cartier Look at that thing! It's crazy! I got some groceries. I went all in. Now I'm gonna go search for a camping spot for tonight. Guys, I made it to camp for tonight. And you see the mountain behind? It's Mont Pesac. And that's where I'm going to ski tomorrow morning. It looks insane, those lines. Yeah, I can't wait. Oh, I think I'm gonna be good here for tonight. As you can see, there's just nothing around. <laughs> nothing. That's what I love about Gaspésie. It's so nice. It's just all open, you can go everywhere, I love it so much.
it's not hard to find a spot here. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you what I've got from the supermarket. And by the way, it was the first big town of the trip. So I've got bread for breakfast because I don't have any oatmeal left. It's really my cheat day. So yeah, I got some ruffles, sour cream and onion. I've got some chocolate cookies, tomatoes for the sandwich, some sushi, and I've got some Bloody Caesar cocktails. I was feeling very lazy, I didn't want to cook, so yeah, sushi is the way to go. Is it good? I never tried this one. Yeah, it's good, but it's a little too salty for me. And when I make my own bloody Caesar, I put a lot of Tabasco in it and it's really good because I love eating spicy. A little bit of ginger on it. Mm. After a ski day, it's perfect. I'm my feet are getting killed by those boots. I have like blisters everywhere. I think they are a little bit too short for me. I'm watching Hyperdrive on Netflix. It's a car race competition. It's so good. Mm. So good. It's so nice tonight. It's not that windy. Because yesterday night was crazy. I'm gonna go sleep now. And I'm gonna let you guys hear for the video. Thank you very much for watching. It means a lot. I love the support you guys giving me. It's incredible. I love to see your comments from all over the world. It's insane. See you in the next videos. Be safe exploring.